Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna do a build in this Octominer X8 Ultra Plus. So before we get started, yes, this was sent over to me by the folks at Octominer to do a build on. Um, I've done one as well on the Octominer 12, which is awesome. I'll leave a link up in the card to that. And so I'm excited to get started on this one. I'm not going to go over in fine detail like I did in that previous video. So if you're looking at in-depth, is an Octominer worth it for you? Definitely check that video out. In this video, I'm just going to give a, an overview of maybe some of the cool things on this X8 Ultra Plus that I'm noticing, and then just start putting GPUs in it and get in mining with it. So let's take a look at it. You can see on the front, it's got its fans right across there. The SSD with Hive OS is loaded there. VGA output, power on button, status LEDs all on the back there. And before I open it up, let's take a look at the rear of it. So you can see power supplies. There's four power supplies here. We'll take them out in a second and see what they are. Power button back here, four USB 3 ports, HDMI, and then Ethernet. Um, and that's it. So let's take a look inside and see what we have. So I really like these latches. Much easier to take this lid off. And it looks quite different from the 12 version, uh, 12 GPU version that I was used to. So you can see now it's got its main motherboard vertical right here. And that's got the CPU on it, RAM on it. Um, everything else is attached right there. And then that goes into the back plane board, which houses all of the GPUs coming down right there. Um, power supplies are here. Let's take a look. What power supplies are in this? I'm very curious. So slide one out. So it looks like these are not HP or anything. They're, they're I can't remember how to pronounce that. Yahweh. You guys can take a look there. And looking like they are 750 watt power supplies that can be ran on 100 to 240 volts. So four of them in there. And then it comes with this, which I really enjoy, connector. I might actually see if I can use these on some of my multi um, power supply rigs because it's just so convenient. Let me cut some of these. Cable ties that were just here for shipping out of here. And this one specifically came from Miner Dude, which is a reseller, authorized reseller of Octominers, and it came in great shape, packaged really well. So yeah, this is what I love for these power supplies. So it's, you can see the four cables there to go into the power supplies, and then it has the one plug there to go into your PDU. I can't remember what this is. Is this C19? I think this is C19. Um, I love this. Saves so much on cabling. And then we got a ton of PCIe coming off this. Looks like all of them. Some of them are dual 8-pin and some are single. Do I have that right? We'll take a look once I start getting some GPUs in there, which I'm ready to do right now. So enough with this mess of cables. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put in here. And this is probably not its final form, but I got all of these GPUs behind me. And what I think I have eight of is 3070 full hash rates. So I'm going to start putting those in. So let's, let's get going. So this is a gigabyte vision. Start slotting these in. Cool. That is four of the Gigabyte Vision full hash rate 3070s. Um, let's see what else I have. Oh, I have these Tufts. Let's do some of these. A little tight over here, it looks like. I'm just gonna squish these cables back. Okay, and then what else do I have? I have this Gigabyte. I'll just throw that in there. Throw this Gigabyte in last. All right, cool, looking good. I know I wish I had another Tuft, but I don't. Actually, I probably do in the grow temp, but I don't feel like taking it out and replacing it. So this looks good for now. Let me get all these screwed down. Be right back. Probably should have mentioned, if you're wondering why some of these cards are a little beat up and bent, because they're all bought open box <laughs> from uh, Newegg. You can check out some of my live streams where we opened them up and, and looked at them. 
All right, so everything's screwed in. Now I got to figure out wiring this up. So the cool thing about these cables is they're all custom lengths. So you don't have a lot of excess cables sitting around there. So I like to look at what the longest ones are. And just kind of start from there. And it looks like, yeah, so we got, this is like a dual eight pin, which is going to be fine for these 3070s. And then they also gave single eight pins, which I'm probably just not going to use those. I'm going to use the dual because all these cards, all the gigabytes are six pin and eight pin. And then the tufts are dual eight pin. And these are never going to pull 150 watts. Um, even though the tufts are not going to pull 150 watts per. They're just the TDP of these cards isn't that high. So I'm going to be totally fine with that. And I guess I'm going to run all the cables maybe on top. So nothing gets in the way of the airflow. Where the fans looks like I have plenty of space up here um, for the lid to still rest on it, which is really cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wire this all up and we'll come back and look at it when it's done. Everything's wired up. I just had to use this single strand with the dual eight pins coming off of the GPU. So what I'm left with are all these single eight pin strands, which you can either unplug them or I'm probably just going to tuck them in there so I don't misplace them. And I'm also trying to figure out where I want to run all these cables coming off of the top of the GPU. I could tuck them down here which will look really nice, um, but it could impede the airflow a little bit from these fans. I could also just let them rest on the top of the GPUs right here. I've seen it done both ways from miners over the years. Um, so I'll figure out what works best. I think I really like the way of it tucked down here. So we'll check airflow. I mean, they're 3070s. They should be just fine um, anyway. So, and then these ones, I'm going to just tuck down in here instead of unplugging them because I want to make sure I always know that these cables go with this Octominer. So there's plenty of space to do that and tuck them down there. I'm ready to start this thing up. Got the power in, got ethernet in as well. All the GPUs looking really good. Let's do this. Before I do actually, I'm going to turn off noise suppression on my microphone. So let me head over to NVIDIA broadcast and do that because I want you guys to hear what I hear as much as possible. So I'm going to turn it off in three, two, one. All right, it is off now and I'm going to fire this up. Let's go. All right, looking good. Fans are spinning. All the GPUs fans are spinning. Looking pretty good. You'll notice that some of the RGB or just LEDs don't work on these. I knew that already. That's okay. Um, and this GPU is dented pretty bad. That's okay too. Still worked when I tested them out. Looking good. We're up and mining at Hive OS. You can see all the 3070s recognized here. Overclocks I'm using. Lock core clock at 1100. Memory overclock at 2400. Gives me about 61.5 mega hash on all of these full hash rate 3070s. And you can see all that same data reported here over in T-Rex Miner with this rig doing just shy of 500 mega hash coming in at 492.38 mega hash on Ethereum. A couple of cool things that I learned as I was getting this set up. First, I knew that OctoMiner had a bunch of specialized features integrated with HiveOS. Like you can see the external case fans, all of the environmental sensors here. I went over that in my previous video covering the 12 GPU OctoMiner, but something that I also learned, which I think is really cool, is traditionally in Hive OS, the wattage reporting, which you can see here, 1,139 watts, also reported here, 1,139 watts. Traditionally, that's what the miner is reporting, but you can see it's actually different. The miner is reporting 958 watts, and the OctoMiner in HiveOS is actually giving you the true wattage at the wall of the entire OctoMiner, which I think is a great feature. You can also come down here and hover over that power consumption, and it will show you each individual power supply and how much wattage each power supply is pulling, which is not a lot, right? Oh, just under 300 watts for each one. It does a nice job of load balancing over all of the power supplies. There's one other thing I want to show you to potentially save some wattage. And to do that, I'm gonna turn off noise suppression on the microphone. Okay, it's off, so you probably hear how loud this is. So some of the other integrated features of the OctoMiner is controlling those external case fans through HiveOS, which right now are running at 100%, which probably isn't necessary. So you can come over here, 
go to auto fan, turn that on, and you can set a target core temperature that you'd like to reach for the GPUs, target memory temperatures, which I'm not gonna do on these specific ones, and a minimum and maximum fan speed. I'm gonna set a minimum to 40. That's what they recommend over in this guide that they have here. So if we read a little bit further, I'm gonna do a minimum of 40, and then there was a maximum recommendation as well. Um, actually, minimum of 50, maximum of 70 is a good recommendation. So let me try that. And then I'll have my target core temperature to be 60 degrees. So let's see how much this reduces the noise and reduces the wattage of the Octominer. Three, two, one, apply. So it'll take HiveOS a second to apply that, but you can see 1,141 watts. I wonder how much those fans take, so, oh, just got very quiet. It's got much quieter. So it kicked in right away. Let's give this a refresh. We definitely came down some wattage. We're at 1,091 now. You see the external fans are coming down in the 70s right now. Let's see. They're coming down lower, below 70. So you can use this, and what it'll do is control the fans automatically through HiveOS and through all the sensors built in the OctoMiner to regulate the temperatures of the GPUs. And you can see we saved quite a bit of wattage doing that, still coming down. And obviously quite a bit of noise, hopefully you could hear um, over the microphone how much that was reduced from running it at 100%. So I'm really stoked on this build as the case fans continue to come down wattage continues to come down. I'm really stoked on this build. I don't know if these 3070s will stay in here or if I'll put some other GPUs in here that will really benefit from all that airflow coming over the cards. But love to know your guys' thoughts on this build, on this video, on this Octominer. Let me know down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat or have any questions. Links down in the description below. Twitter, Instagram links are down there too if you want to follow me on there. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.